Hey guys, so this is a different sort of um, problem of the week. I actually think it's a lot easier than the one that we had to do last week because it only has one question. And it really is all about your relationship, the relationship between the numbers and what you can see from them. You might use fractions to answer this question or you might do another way. I'm not gonna give you too much of a hint. Um, I'll start you off and we'll see where you go. Okay, so the, the let's read it. It says, cookie dough school had a bake sale. At the sale, a package of 36 cookies cost $12. So let me just underline that bit. 36 cookies cost $12. Four students decided to put their money together and buy one package. Caden contributed $2. Kaya contributed $3. Kayla contributed 4 Four $4. And then Michelle, $3. Okay. Everyone wants to be fair when dividing up the package. How many cookies should each person get based on how much they paid? Okay, so obviously looking at the information that I've written down, Caden is going to get the least amount of cookies because he only contributed $2. Kayla is going to get the most because she contributed the most money. She contributed $4. There's a couple of ways you could do this. You could think about 36 cookies all right divide that by 12 okay and that gives you three now that means three cookies for a single dollar Now, if I tell you that much, you probably can work out the rest. That is one way to work it out. Another way would be to use fractions. Now, if you can use fractions, by all means, use fractions, but I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. Remember when we have fractions, we have a part and we have a whole, okay? I'm not gonna tell you anything else because I'm not sure if that is going to be too hard or not um, but the way that I've described it over here on the left is the best way to probably work out the answer you need to tell me how many cookies each person is going to get okay bye guys